Hey guys, welcome back. And today we'll be talking about the TP-Link AV600 power line adapters. Now these are from TP-Link and this video is not sponsored by TP-Link. However, it is sponsored by Nextech Network Solutions Limited. So we will be doing an unboxing, we'll be doing a review and some speed tests so that you can see the true speed of what these adapters can actually do. So stay tuned and let's dive in. Alright, so what we'll be doing is doing an illustration of how the system actually works. So if you have a house that is two floor, your high ISP, which is their internet service provider, comes in right here and you have your modem place this area in the house, which is only covering your ground floor. You have a basement that has no coverage at all. What a power line technology does is that you can place an adapter in your power socket right here, run a cable from your modem directly to it, have another power outlet down in the basement and plug your power line adapter directly into it. And what it does is that it uses your existing electric circuit that you have currently in your house as a mean of transportation from point A to B. And it creates a network through your electricity system. And then when it reach to here, you, what it does is that it, it gives you ethernet connection and it gives you wireless connection in this area. Something that would not be easily achieved if you had a, a Wi-Fi repeater to go through the concrete, sometimes to go through walls and buildings. It's not easily achieved, or if it does achieve, you're gonna get weak signals and low performance. So to avoid that, the best thing to do is to use a power line system that use your existing electric circuit and create a network throughout it. So we're going to demonstrate exactly how this is done. So the first thing we're gonna do is to connect it to the power outlet. Starting from the left, you have your power light, your power line light, and your LAN connection, which is the third one. So once you see that power line light is off, you're gonna connect your cable to your device. Then you're going to plug your other end either in your modem, your router. Now that we have a connection, we're going to hold on to the peer button for one second. Once it starts to flash, that means we're ready to peer the other side. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to plug this inside of the wall. First light is power. Second light is power line. Press our peer button. Third light is our LAN connection and the fourth light, which is the last one that's about to come up now, is going to be our Wi-Fi light. So let's go back to the other side and see if we have a solid connection. So there we go. We have our power, our power line and our LAN connection all synced up. Now let's check our connection and see what's the speed we're getting if we have a solid connection. And there you have it. We have internet access. Now let's go to our browser and check our speed. Now we have a 50 meg connection by 20. Let's see what we're getting. So 
so if you realize these are very convenient for running cables throughout a house or throughout an entire building you can even use these as a, a network where you can create multiple connections in various areas and centralize them back in one area where the feed is coming from which is your internet source these actually support vlan in the sense where they're bridge mode so if you have vlan on one side of the network and you want to pass over all your vlans on another section of the network and plug it back into a switch these support it where it is easier for you to just run that one cable have a switch on point a and a switch on point b create multiple networks over that one cable so that's it for now the the information as it regards to purchase these are in the description these are also available in the Linstead office and the next tech office in bogwalk so you can purchase these there i'll also put a link in the description for it to be available on amazon so you can purchase it from there as well so that's it for now thank you for watching my video and see you in the next one